The subject is inscriptions on paintings. Now, this is, a, a again, a very big subject. Inscriptions on paintings is, having inscriptions on paintings is very common. But it, it, it is almost an art form to figure out where all the inscriptions are and to identify them. Uh, inscriptions can be on the front or the back of the painting. The inscriptions can be on the textile mount and they can be on the top stick or, or the bottom stick. So, it, it you really have to have a very fine eye when looking for these. Of course, some are very apparent and we have many different types <clears throat> and they have different purposes. So, well, the, main, the main type of inscription we usually find are a name inscription under a main figure, a person or a deity on the front of a painting, and then a, a blessing of some kind written on the back of the painting. These are the two most common. And it's not uh, always the case that there will be inscriptions on the front or the back. It just depends on <clears throat> the artist and on the subject matter and the importance of a piece. If a piece is very important, then it will have a blessing put on the back and, and it may have even more information than that. So, if we're, if we're looking at paintings such as the Buddha's life story, where we have a, a large number of uh, paintings in the set, upwards of, of 30 or more, then we can often see a, a, a red cartouche with writing in it, very, very uh, limited writing, maybe uh, six, seven, eight words. And this will be uh, indicating which story is being told from the, the, the different, different uh, types of life story of the Buddha. The names of the person or figure are often written underneath. But these names can be written in a gold lettering. And depending on the type of light you have when looking at a painting, the, the inscriptions can be almost impossible to see. Sometimes you have to turn a painting, uh, uh, you, you have to rotate it, you have to uh, turn it on an angle and get different types of reflection off the gold writing so that it can actually be read. So, Narrative descriptions are common. We see that for, for uh, the Buddha. We see it for uh, famous uh, Tibetan teachers. It's not generally something we find early on. Um, it's something generally from the 16th century onward we begin to see more uh, where there's a painting of a teacher and then there's uh, life story information in, in some detail underneath. This is sort of a late phenomena. Now, Decorative letters are also used on, on diagrammatic type paintings. We have uh, underdrawing. We have the artist where the, the master does the main outline for the painting and then he puts in letters indicating the colors so that his apprentices and students can come after him and fill in color before he does the final detail work on the painting. Sometimes there can be sanctification, uh, blessings, mantras written on the surface of a painting that are then painted over and you actually don't see those uh, inscriptions in the final uh, in the final work. Now where you do see underdrawing and uh, sanctification inscriptions is when there's a lot of paint loss because the painting is old and it suffered damage and then we, we see these artist notations. Now also on the front of the painting, the bottom stick can have a name of uh, what the deity is, especially if it's from a set of paintings, or it can have a number uh, indicating its placement if it's from a large set. On the back of a painting, often we have auspicious verses, uh, Dharani and the Ye Dharma formula. We have, uh, there can also be a stupa, uh, an outline of a stupa, and then the auspicious verses are placed inside. And we can also have uh, the name inscription of what the central subject of the painting is at the top of the stick on the back. Uh, we can also have information on the bottom stick, such as uh, direction information. 
left, right, um, third, right, tenth, left, uh, direction information for hanging. Um, so, so we have a lot of different types of information. Now, the, for art history, the most important information on the back is if there's uh, commission information, if there's a, a, a teacher who did the blessing, or the donor, the name of the donor, or the artist, and sometimes the location. So we have many different, different types of uh, inscriptions that can be found on paintings, on some paintings, and it can be very, very valuable information. We can have a very poor quality painting, but it has a very important inscription, such as in the Rubin Museum of Art, they have a painting of a mandala, but on the back it says it was painted by the sixth Dalai Lama. So this is very important historically, but the front of the painting is somewhat damaged and small and not of artistic consequence, but the historical information on the back is important.